Hello everyone, this is Red Robot, and the terrible tactic of the day is the Conch Equalizer Soldier. Now, this is a really, really fun loadout, and I was not expecting to have such a good time with this, these weapons. Now, basically, I'm using the speed boost and health regen of the Conch to score kills with the Equalizer. And this is a bit counterintuitive. You know about the Equalizer, um, it's a weapon that does more damage the more injured you are. So you see, that swing did 40 damage to that sniper. Um, so you really got to be low health when using it. But at the same time, every time you swing the Equalizer, uh, the Conch will heal you, which means that you're going to be doing less and less and less damage. So why use these two weapons together? It seems like a, a terrible idea. Well, the whole, the whole, the master plan, the, the perfect situation, the dream with this loadout is to create a situation in which you're constantly taking damage, uh, swinging your melee when you're low, healing, taking more, swinging your melee when you're low, sort of creating a loop of healing, damage, and movement speed with the conch. Uh, you see, soldier is so slow, and using your melee without a rocket jump, you, you just really need that conqueror speed boost. Um, and surprisingly, using these weapons together worked really, really, really well. Now, the this has nothing to do with the Equalizer. Like, the Equalizer's increased damage might have helped, oof, one or two times, maybe three, four max. Uh, I would have done way better with just the stock melee. And I was actually thinking, well, hang on, if I can, like, crit swing for 300 damage, imagine how much health I'm healing with the Conqueror's health regen. Oh, that must be really good. No, you can just use the Katana and heal all of your health. <laughs> the, the freaking Equalizer is one of the worst melee weapons in the whole game, and that's why this loader is so fun. You're taking a weapon that's generally so trash, so terrible, and making it, like, pretty good, like, dealing decent damage, healing lots of health, like, it, it actually works together. Um... So the way I started at the beginning was uh, to blow my conch, rocket jump in, and then just kind of uh, try and swing it and hit people. But I was doing like 30 damage a swing and it was terrible. So I decided to use it as sort of like a 5th and 6th rocket. Uh, jump in, use up most of my rockets, self-damage myself a lot on the enemies. Uh, and when they were low, uh, run at them with the equalizer and kill them with my swings. And it worked great! I was scoring tons, getting dominations, I mean, sure, it's a pub, anything works in a pub. But it, I was like, this is a loadout I'm gonna use in the future, this is so awesome. <laughs> you, you see me using my conch charge to get away, <laughs> instead of fighting. Uh, one frustrating part about this loadout is, you kill people with your rockets way too much. Um, I did start using the Liberty Launcher instead of the default rocket launcher because I figured the decreased damage on rocket jumps would be useful, but turns out you actually want to do tons of damage to yourself on rocket jumps because you gain all your health back really quickly with the Equalizer, um, so your health really isn't too much of an issue. Uh, and plus the decreased damage on the Liberty Launcher makes it pretty hard to earn your rage, so I think the default is, is probably the option to use. Uh, Spy is uninteresting, I'm gonna rocket jump forward and see who I can kill. I reckon the Equalizer really needs to have a, a balance change. At least make it so, at its best, it does a decent amount of damage. Um, at 200 health plus, it'll do 33 damage, which is absolutely tr trash. That's less than the bat with an attack interval of 0 0.8 seconds. But at 1 health, you'll do 107 damage, which is pretty good. With a crit, you'll one-shot a heavy, which is really nice. Uh, at 52 health, you'll do 88 damage which is mini crit range, uh, a crit with that is really impressive too. And at 113, you'll do 65, so that's the base damage of the sho shovel. So you have to be below 113 for this weapon to be better than the shovel, and above it, it's far, far worse. So it's sort of an all or nothing weapon, you're getting a really, really strong swing, or friggin' nothing at all, and I still think the stock melee would have been better to use, but the fact that I'm getting kills and, and doing kinda well with such a poor weapon is the most fun part about this terrible tactic. I'm sure people are being surprised to be killed by the Equalizer. Well, that's all I got for you right now, and I'll catch you guys next time.